Howdy, how's it going? My name's Davy Chappie, and we are almost done with all of the spells on every spell list of every type from every class in every school. We're almost done! But we're not done yet, so today we're gonna be talking about your favorite Master Blaster of 5e, the Warlock. I'm gonna go over every spell on the Warlock spell list and rate them on Davy's Davy Meter. As always, keep in mind that a lot of this is just my opinion, so if you feel like scaling is just something that you do with your xylophone, feel free to play your games however you want. But with that out of the way, let's begin. So, the difficult thing about ranking Warlock spells is that the Warlock is so customizable that you can pretty much make anything work if you build your character around it. Except Jump. Jump is still bad. So, honestly, my rating system this time around is going to work differently from normal because I have to account for the sheer flexibility of your favorite short cutter. Basically, one chap is still bad, two chaps means that it works pretty well with some types of warlocks, and a full three chaps means that no matter what you're playing, you can always have a good time using this spell. Plus, there's the whole thing about how warlocks basically get no spell slots, and that they always scale up to the highest level, but only until fifth level, and then you effectively get one spell slot of each other higher level, which means I also have to take into account how much spells can do with a single cast, and they had better scale up up with spell level or someone's getting fired. And a big thing about warlocks is that the spells that you should have are very dependent on what level you can cast at, because lower level spells that can't scale can still be good, until they suddenly are completely trash because you leveled up and now you can cast at a higher spell level. So suddenly casting that second level Misty Step isn't really getting the mileage it used to compared to other teleportation spells they get later. To circumvent this, you should be swapping out your old virgin spells with the Chad spells that come afterwards, or else you'll find yourself lagging behind the rest of the party and you'll feel like a little scrubby scrub. So yeah, keep all that in mind as you watch this video so that you don't get upset when I rank your favorite spell lower. But let's get this show on the road starting with CANTRIPS! Blade Ward. No build will ever use this. Booming Blade. Good with melee builds. Nothing else will care. Chill Touch. Take this for a spooky aesthetic, but otherwise you have much better cantrips. Create Bonfire. I mean, I guess if you want to make a bonfire, but there's no other reason for this. Eldritch Blast. Don't act like this was getting anything else. Friends. Good for social builds, which Warlocks can totally do. Frostbite. You're competing with Eldritch Blast, but you're not bad by any means. Green Flame Blade. Same as Booming Blade, good for Fistalocks. Infestation. Please, I implore you to throw more bees at people. Lightning Lure. This actually isn't bad for melee builds or people who want to spam Armor of Agathis. Mage Hand. Nobody can go wrong with the Mage Hand, it's utility. Magic Stone. Hey, you want to hit him with the swirling black power of the cosmos? Or how about this rock you found walking the street? Minor Illusion. Take as you will, nobody will have a bad time with it. Poison Spray. Super short range, but it does more damage than Eldritch Blast, but it's poison damage, so maybe a melee build will want it? Prestidigitation. Once again, take whenever you want, nobody's stopping you. Sword Burst. I play a Hexblade, so I flavor this as a spin attack. It's my favorite thing. Thunderclap. All hail the melee lock. Toll the dead. I feel similarly about this as I do with poison spray. Not bad, just easily outclassed. True Strike. I don't care what greater cosmic being you swore your allegiance to. Their power is not enough to make True Strike good. First level! Armor of Agathis. Boy, girl, big or small, we're in a pandemic, so you need to cover up. Arms of Hadar. Hadar is a chill dude, but he does take up a lot of emotional space. Cause fear. Anybody can cause fear, but not everybody needs to. Charm person. I'll leave it up to you to take this, it works on anybody. Comprehend languages. Utility is good, but you have so few spell slots, someone else should really be casting this. Expeditious retreat. Bravely run away! Doesn't scale, so lose it early. Hellish rebuke. Chances are you already have this because you're basic and you chose a warlock tiefling. And I don't blame you, it's a great spell. Hex. Hunter's mark for edgelords. Illusionary script. I'll give it a generous 2 for roleplay value. Protection from evil and good. Super situational and doesn't scale. Can't help you here, bud. Unseen servant. Another generous 2. Witch bolt. In a world where you need to save your spell slots, for the most powerful and useful spells, don't take one that will end on its own. Second level! Cloud of Daggers. It's area denial, so go crazy. Crown of Madness. I wish it did what it implies, but it don't do, so don't do it. Darkness. If you're wasting your incredibly precious spell slot on a darkness, I'm gonna hit you. Earthbind. No, this is not Earth and Grasp. Don't take it. Enthrall. People will only focus on you. Good for social games, I suppose. Hold Person. Always useful. Less useful when you get two spells max. Invisibility. Pretty much universally good. Mind Spike. Psychic damage, and you become a super stalker. Nice. Mirror Image. One of my favorite, hey, I don't want to be hit spells. Misty Step. Good until you get Thunderstep, then ditch it. Rave Enfeeblement. It's neat, but honestly, it's not that worth it. Shadowblade. Be the edgelord you were meant to be. Shatter. It's a decent AoE if you want it, but throw it out eventually. Spider Climb. Take it until you can fly. Suggestion. Does not scale. Take it early, ditch it fast. Third level! Counterspell. If you want to burn your spells harder than ever, go ahead and take this. Dispel Magic. Same with Counterspell, but you'll feel less pressured to use a spell slot in the heat of the moment. Enemies abound. Does the Warlock really need this? Fear. Good for freaking out a big wave of enemies. Fly. If you want 
wanna fly, there you go. Gaseous form. If you want yourself to fly, there you go. Hunger of Hadar. Good spell. Best zone. Hadar do big manch. Hypnotic pattern. A pretty decent disable spell, but people will want your butt for it. Magic circle. If you plan on summoning demons, you'll need this. Major image. Minor illusions, older brother. Remove curse. You probably shouldn't be the one to use this. Summon lesser demons. Sure hope you took that circle earlier. Thunder step. Swap out Misty Step for this, and then swap out this for Dimension Door. Tongues. Sometimes there's no better utility than tonguing someone. Vampiric Touch. Scales pretty well, but it's an underwhelming ability. Fourth level! Banishment. A lot of these fourth level spells don't scale, but considering you're only missing out on one level higher, it's nothing to lose sleep over. Blight. Your Celestial Patron says that all weed must die. Charm Monster. Better version of Charm Person, you should swap it out when you get the chance. Dimension Door. No, it doesn't scale, but trust me when I say that you don't need it to. Elemental Bane. Eh, it's nice, but I don't think you'll remember it. Hallucinatory Terrain. This is one of my favorite spells to be extra with, but even I'll admit that it's actually useless. Shadow of Moil. Really, the goal here is to bounce off of Radiant attacks, so if you're not doing that, this spell has some major whiplash problems. Sickening Radiance. A decent zoner, maybe worth taking if your old one is getting obsolete. Summon Greater Demon. Summoning Demons! A perfect idea! No way this could backfire! Fifth level! Contact Other Plane. Uh, hello? God? I made a bad business decision. Dance Macabre. If you want to raise the dead, this spell is pretty good. Dream. Very roleplay heavy. Take at your own risk. Enervation. Gross, but powerful. Far step. I still prefer Dimension Door, but here's a substitute if you want it. Hold Monster. Better than Hold Person. Infernal Calling. It literally wants to kill you, and there's no guarantee that it won't unless you have a magic circle. Why are you like this? Negative Energy Flood. Sounds like my mother. Scrying. Useful for you, better on somebody else. Synaptic Static. It's not even your best AoE when scaling is taken into account, but the debuff isn't awful. Wall of Light. God wills it! Sixth level! Arcane Gate. Dimension Door 2. Dimension Gate. Circle of Death. A very scary spell. Conjure Fey. You're just here for me to complain about Fey, aren't you? Create Undead. All we wanna do is eat your brains. Eye Bite. Good spell. Bothersome Mental Image. Flesh to Stone. At this point, you can just pick up whatever spell will just terrify your enemies the most. Investiture of Flame. Fire! Investiture of Ice. Water! Investiture of Stone. Earth! Investiture of Wind. Air! Only the Avatar, master of all four elements. Mass suggestion! Big boy suggestion spell. Mental prison. One of my favorite spells to mess with the players. Equally as terrifying when the bad guys do it. Scatter. And then we ran in different directions. We all started running in different directions. Soul cage. Live your life. We'll wait. True seeing. Eh, you can use it, but you really don't need it. Seventh level! Crown of Stars. The perfect crown for the King of Fools. Etherealness. Complete invulnerability and intangibility. What's not to love? Finger of Death. Pick somebody and make a zombie out of them. Force Cage, one of the best cages patronage can buy. Plane Shift, if your DM wants you to have interdimensional travel, they'll make a point for you to get interdimensional travel. Power Word Pain. Noise. Eighth level. Demiplane, the world's most depressing escape room. Dominate Monster, Charm Person's final form. Feeble Mind, disable an enemy of your choice. Nobody bounces back from dumb. Glibness, the ultimate charisma spell. If you're a social player, this isn't just a requirement, it's a reward. Maddening Darkness, eh, at this point you have access to crazy magic that'll keep enemies up at night. You shouldn't waste it on an AoE. Power Word Stun, do you want to roll the dice on whether or not they have 150 health left? Your funeral. Ninth level! Astral Projection, it's such a fun spell when it's used as a plot device by an NPC or an item. Never take it yourself, it sucks. Foresight. It's eight hours of getting advantage and giving people disadvantage, no concentration. That's nice, but I do want a little bit more pizzazz in my ninth level spells. Imprisonment. I won't lie, this is probably the only really good ninth level spell in the Warlock spell list. Power Ward Kill. Play the guessing game, where you either kill somebody with low enough health that they'll probably die anyway, or you do nothing. Psychic Scream. It does 84 damage at maximum, and you can save against it. You can save against a ninth level Spell. True Polymorph. It's a super meme spell, and I love it, and that's why it gets a 2. Turn your boss into a plant. Turn your plants into a dragon. Turn your dragon into a dungeon. But that'll about do it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm almost done with these spell guides. Holy hell, am I so done with reviewing the spell list of things that are inherently super subjective. But luckily for me, the only one left is the wizard. Especially the wizard.